<gasps> oh my gosh, hey. Let's keep going, all right? Okay. I want to go take a little walk around the neighborhood, and I'll bring some boxes in on the way back. Okay. Okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Hi. You should really watch where you're going. I'm a social media influencer with almost 500,000 followers. One post from me and your little moving company is history. My what? I'm sorry, I, we're actually just moving in. I, I, I'm i sorry, I, I'm kind of a mess right now, but I've been helping my husband get things inside the house. Wait, so you're not the movers? No, we're residents. We live almost like literally right there. Uh, and funny enough, I'm also actually a social media influencer as well. Right, honey. Okay. Everybody with a thousand followers thinks that they're an influencer these days. Well, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me take this. Hey, what's up? Mom, it's so hot in there. I don't think the air conditioning works. Oh, that's silly. It's a brand new house, guys. It's probably just not on. Why don't you say hello to our new neighbor? Hello. Hi. Hi. Is that for us? Oh, cheddar cheese, give me! But it's, it's not cheddar, it's an aged Asiago on a bed of... You know what? Doesn't matter. Kids, I'll bring it home, don't worry. Just make sure you wash your hands, please. Oh, fine. Sorry about that. Um, it, it was really nice to meet you. I hope that I can see you again. Thank you so much for the gifts. I'm sure you will. I'm just gonna put these right over here. I wouldn't want you to get it dirty with your... But anyways, I better be heading back inside. This one's mine. The 10,000 square foot Spanish colonial. The biggest house in the neighborhood. It's stunning, but I thought that the one all the way up there on the top of the hill, the one that's like 20,000 square feet, I thought that was the biggest one. I suppose, technically, my house is now the second biggest in the neighborhood since they built that thing. But my house is still three times the size of yours. Excuse me, hi, I'm, I'm sorry, are you? Hi. Hi, I am. Oh, hi. hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm such a big fan of yours. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Can, can we have a photo? Of course. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> have a great one. You too. Thanks. I'm sorry. How many followers did you say you have? Oh, um, I have like 12 million on TikTok and so does my husband. Um, and then we also have Instagram and YouTube. 12 million. You know what? I am having a little get together at my place on Saturday. Just a couple of friends. They're mom influencers too. You have got to come, okay? I am not gonna take no for an answer. Besides, we're neighbors now. Yeah, of course. I, I'd love to. <gasps> Amazing. They are gonna be so excited to meet you. Oh, and sorry for leaving those up there. It's just a joke. It's my sense of humor. You'll get it eventually. Okay, now ta-ta. See you Saturday. Ta-ta. Don't be a stranger. Hey, how's it going? Good, uh, just meeting the neighbors. I thought you was getting more boxes. Yeah, I'm gonna change out of my sweatpants, and you probably should too. That way, we don't get judged. <gasps> there she is! Hi, new neighbor! Welcome to my humble abode. Wow, it, it is just Tuscan. It, amazing. I just love the spring. It is so beautiful and understated. I wish I could pull off smaller jewels, but 
I just feel more comfortable on something two carats and above. This one's from Cartier. What can I say? We deserve it, right? Yeah. Ladies! This is Brooke. She and her husband are the ones who have millions of followers on socials. Oh, hi. Uh, Tia has told us so much about you. You simply have to tell us how you've gotten so many followers. So no matter what I do, I just can't break 100K. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, honestly, my husband and I, we just have shared our story since we got on social media. It's really resonated with a lot of people because we don't come from a lot of money like this at all. Um, we promised ourselves that once we got married, we would work as hard as we could together to build a beautiful life for our children. And it resonated with a very loyal audience now. So we're really excited to share that with them every day. So we got a lot of brand deals and now we're able to live in this beautiful community with you girls. Wow, that is just so inspirational. So which brands do you work with? Oh, do you use a PR firm? Um, yeah, I actually do. Ladies, please, Brooke just got here. There's plenty of time to talk about this later. For now, hors d'oeuvres and cocktails are set up in the solarium. Please, help yourselves. They seem nice. Well, they put on a good show, but don't. Trust them. Linda, the woman in the tacky skirt, is on her second divorce. Everyone knows she can't keep a husband. And Donna acts like she has money, but she doesn't. Rumor is her husband's business is going under. And did you see that Louis bag? I mean, everyone knows that Louis is for people who act like they're rich but aren't, am I right? Yeah. Um... I'm sorry, I, I guess I just don't understand. If you don't like the girls, then why would you invite them here for the party? Oh, I like them. I'm just warning you to be careful around them. They're users, not friends like you and I. Mm. Speaking of friends, let's take a picture together. Oh, okay. Perfect. I tagged you. You should restore it so that we can share followers. Okay, I'd love to. Oh, um, let me do that. No, hold on. Okay. Oh, look at my nice room and my beautiful living room and my nice house. And there's my beautiful wife, Brooke. Hey everyone, welcome to our new home. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. Um, are the kids in bed? Where's your ring? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it was the smallest one, and I didn't want to get judged any more than I already was. Babe, don't worry about that. I'm gonna get you the biggest ring in the world one day. No, I love my ring, and I love my house. I'm very grateful for everything. I just, I'm tired of people judging us, you know? Babe, hey, that's what you get for living in a fancy neighborhood like this. But it's not just the people in the neighborhood, it's people online too. When we live in the apartment, they call us broke. Then we move into this house, all of a sudden we're out of touch with reality. I thought when we moved here, we were going to avoid all of the criticism and it just got worse. And there's so many more comments where that came from. Don't even worry about that, babe. It's just what people do. When I was in boxing, they said I was too small, even though I was 4-0. When we got on social media, they said that we was too poor. Now that we have all of this, they call us show-offs. We literally cannot win. I've learned in life, people will always criticize you no matter what. But it's like that quote, to avoid criticism is to say nothing, do nothing, and be nothing. What are we gonna do? Be nothing? Look. We work too hard and come too far to let people's criticism stop us. Right, babe? How? Oh my goodness. I don't know who installed it, but 
That box is way too small to supply enough electricity for a house this size. Unfortunately, I think you're gonna have to upgrade the whole system. I hate to say it, but you're gonna want to do that sooner than later, because when the summer comes, it ain't gonna run the air conditioning. That explains why the boys were so hot in here the other day. So what does something like this cost to fix? House this big? Ballpark? I'm like, it's like $60,000. I know, right? But look, the builder went cheap. He cut a lot of corners. A house this big is gonna need at least twice as much power. Look, I got it up and running for now, but if you don't upgrade it, it is just gonna keep happening. Don't worry, babe. I'll talk to the owner. We just moved in. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be a problem. Okay? Thank you. All right. Hi. Is everything okay? Yeah, uh, just a little electrical problem, that's all. Just uh, let me know what the owner says, okay? Hey, thank you. Yeah, owner. Are you renting? You never told me that. Yeah, uh, nobody knows that. Uh, we just wanted to move in as fast as we could, so we're renting until we can close on escrow. We put our deposit down last week. We're just waiting on the loan to go through. Well, why don't you just pay it all in cash? That's what I did. Yeah, um, we would love to have done that, but we're just not in that kind of position financially. This is all kind of really new for us, and we also need to get the house inspection done. Anyways, is there something I can help you with? Wow. It is totally no big deal, but I noticed after our little get together, so much fun, that all of the ladies started following you on Instagram. So I just wanted to come over and warn you, stay away. I know that they seem really nice, but they're actually wolves in sheep's clothing. And well, they're probably just using you for your followers. So I wouldn't want to be friends with them if I were you. <clears throat> Thanks. Have a good one. You too. Oh, I love Life Glam. I get their lippies all the time. What did you get? Um, I'm not sure, actually. I'm a brand ambassador for Live Glam, so they send me products all the time and they pay me to promote them. What? I've been trying to work with them for years and they've never gotten back to me. How did you get through? Babe, you won't believe this. Michael was saying that we are responsible for the electrical problem and he's not gonna pay it. We're gonna have to cover the whole $60,000 ourselves. It's like we try to improve our lives, inspire everyone, and they hate us for it. Babe, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Relax. They don't even like us anymore. Relax. We're gonna get through this together, okay? Sorry to interrupt, folks. I finished the inspection, and yeah. I'm sorry to say there's mold inside some of the walls because they weren't properly sealed. Plus, the air conditioner unit that the owner installed is completely inadequate for this size house. Even if you fix the electrical system, it'll be hot in here all the time. It gets worse. There are also several pinhole-sized leaks in the gas line, uh, so we're going to have to rip open the walls and replace that as well. This is a very serious problem. All of them, really. So what's the cost-wise? It's hard to say, but including the electrical system overhaul, I think you're looking at maybe 665. 65,000? Oh no, sir. 650,000. Like I said, it's a complete overhaul. Look, Michael, I I'm sure you can see the dilemma here. We love your home, but it just has a lot of problems. Those are your problems, not mine. You live there now, it's your house. Look, we want to buy this house, but it's your responsibility to fix these problems before we close escrow. The house is fine when I had it. Maybe you did these things. No, how? We've been there less than a week. There's no way that we could have done anything to your house. Look, look, Just it's fine. Yeah. Just leave. Buy a new house. Just know if you do that, I'm keeping the earnest money deposit. That was $500,000. That 
That was our entire life savings. Like I said, not my problem. What are we gonna do, babe? I don't know, but we're definitely not spending $650,000 to fix his house. Well, if we don't, we lose the deposit. Brooke? Hey, we hey. thought that was you. Oh my gosh, hi, what's up? We were just shopping for Live Glam Beauty products because we were watching your videos and they look so good on you. Oh. That's so sweet of you guys to say that. Thank you. Of course. We should hang out sometime. Yes. Yeah, I, um, I'd love to, actually. You guys should get my number from Tia. Oh, well, you know, we asked her for it, but she wouldn't give it to us. Oh. She can be so weird about those sort of things. <laughs> it's so silly. It's almost like she doesn't want us to hang out with you. Oh. <laughs> what? So silly, right? Yeah. What? Oh my gosh. Have you eaten yet? because we're just about to get some lunch if you care to join us. Girls, that is so sweet. Thank you so much for the invite. But actually, my husband and I have to- Hey, go with your friends, we have enjoy. Plans. We'll have some your friends. Go have some fun. Um, I'd okay. love to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out with us. Yeah, it's so nice to meet you. I've been watching your videos and oh, your family is just so lovely. Thank you. Honestly, I appreciate you guys for inviting me out. Sometimes it's really hard to get out, especially with kids. Oh, yes, of course. And you know what? We know how hard it is moving into a brand new neighborhood. So if you need anything at all, please just, just ask us, okay? We're here for you and your family. Thanks, that, that means more than anything because I'll be honest, I was a little nervous about the neighborhood. Um, really? And if anyone would really accept our family. Why is that? Tia. Tia. Oh, Tia. You know, don't worry about her. She's jealous of literally everyone. Yeah, she speaks badly about everybody, including us. Mm -hmm. We're civil with her because we don't want any trouble. And she can be quite the handful. So, you know, we try to stay on her. Well, look what we have here. Hi, Tia. Tia. We, we just ran into Brooke, so we decided to have a little lunch together. Is that so? You know, I know that you're poor, Donna, but I thought that you could at least afford a cell phone. You could have called me. And you. I thought I told you to stay away from them. They're telling the truth, Tia. We literally just ran into each other. It, it wasn't planned. I see how it is. You would rather hang out with these two wannabes than with me. You're gonna regret this, Brooke. I'll make sure of it. Don't worry about her. <laughs> She's all bark, no bite. Yeah. <laughs> well, she does bite occasionally. Remember Hannah? Oh, that poor woman. Tia drove her out of the neighborhood. But don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't understand. How could you do this? Sir, as I've explained, we simply cannot approve a loan on this property after seeing the inspection report. And to be quite honest, I don't think any other bank would either. But we're gonna lose our deposit. We need to buy this house. You can't do this. Um, I'm sorry, there's, there's nothing we can really do in this situation. It's just too risky of a loan given the numerous issues with the property. Have a good day. So that's that. We're not getting a house. We're gonna lose our deposit. How? What are we gonna do? Look, I have some brand deals, and you should take some too. Even if we lose the deposit, we'll recover from this. This is nothing we have done before, right? Starting over? Maybe we'll find another place and rent for now. Hey, we have our family. Don't worry about this. We have our boys. Everything is gonna be just fine. 
This is all just stuff. We can get it back. We did it before, right? With our family, we would pray on it, and all of the answers would come to us, okay? Yeah. Um, it, it's just a lot to take that all in right now. Um, we should probably get started on a brand deal. Um, what do we got? We have kitchen products, sleepwear for TikTok, and Instagram Live for Live Glam. Okay. Um, I should probably get started on Live Glam first. I'll do the Instagram Live right now. Awesome, babe. You got this. Yeah. Phenomenal, you got this. Take a deep breath, you got it. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to my live. Thank you so much for joining. Today, you guys know that I love Live Glam products. They are all so incredible. But today, I specifically wanna share about their new Cheeky Kiss blush stick in the color rosy. It's so creamy, it can go on your lips or your cheeks, which is incredible. Oh my gosh, there are so many comments coming in. Hold on guys, I wanna make sure I read all of them. Um, I'm sorry guys, I am having a little bit of technical difficulty right now. Um, I'll be right back. Is everything okay? No. Uh, there were so many comments on the live saying that we're frauds, that we don't own our home, we're renting, we're broke, that we're frauds. They said that it was on Reddit? Let's look it up. Who would make a Reddit page on us? I just thought everyone should know that the so-called Beverly Halls are a complete and total fraud. They have no money and don't even own their home. Even worse, they can't even afford to make basic repairs on the home and would allow their children to live in darkness rather than fix their electricity. If you don't believe me, go ahead and pay them a visit at 538 they put our address on here. How did they get our address? This is crazy, man. Who could have done this? I don't know. I have no idea. There's only one person that knows where we live and all of the problems and the repairs that we need in our house. Tia. That crazy neighbor lady. Honey, um, boys, if you can just go keep an eye on your little brother and give us a minute, okay? Fine. Everything is falling apart. Everything we built, everything we've worked for is gone. Everything's gonna work out just fine. How can you say that? We lose our life savings and our house. We have no money and no place to live. Plus, the entire internet is suddenly against us. Look, babe, I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll figure it out. We always do. And we'll find another house, even if we have to move back to our old place. This ain't nothing but stuff. None of that matters, as long as we are all together. And now, why don't you just go take a walk, clear your mind, I'll go deal with Michael with all of this, okay? Give me a hug, I love you. I saw all the drama. I am just so sorry for everything that's happening to you. I'm sure that you are. I know that you're the one that put everything on Reddit. Oh, you do, do you? Prove it. You know, I bet that whoever wrote that just did it because, well, you're a backstabber. Have you ever stopped to think that maybe all of this is just karma for stealing people's friends. I was never trying to steal your friends. Your friends wanted to hang out with me. And newsflash, Tia, they're not your friends. They don't like you, nobody does. Well, that's rich, coming from someone that the entire internet hates. 
<laughs> Everybody with a thousand followers thinks that they're an influencer these days. <gasps> I just love this ring. It is so beautiful and understated. I wish I could pull off smaller jewels, but I just feel more comfortable on something two carats and above. I know that they seem really nice, but they're actually wolves in sheep's clothing. And, well, they're probably just using you for your followers. I see how it is. You would rather hang out with these two wannabes than with me. You're gonna regret this, Brooke. I'll make sure of it. How can they say this about our family? Why would they put our children in this? Why would they put our address on the internet? We're not scamming anyone. We haven't done any of this. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I am dealing with a lot of criticism right now, but as my husband always says, the only way to avoid criticism is to say nothing, to do nothing, and to be nothing. And I'm not gonna be nothing, Tia. I am gonna turn out again on top one day. You'll see. Nice speech. Hey, let me know if you need help finding movers. Oh, that's right. You can't afford them. I guess you'll have to do it all yourself. Have fun back in the projects. Wherever it is you came from. Hi everyone. I know that a lot of you have probably been seeing some pretty hurtful things about us online, either on TikTok or Reddit or wherever. And I thought that it'd be best if I do what I've always tried to do with my community and just be honest and tell you guys the truth. A lot of you seem to want to know all about the real Beverly Halls. So let's talk about it. You see, I was a good student in high school. I got good grades, but I made some questionable choices and they led me to getting pregnant at a very young age. I don't regret having any of my kids for one second, but having a baby so young did make life difficult for me at first. And even worse was that I ended up having to do it without anyone by my side. Because right after I had my first son, Braylon, his father ended up in jail. Luckily, I met Marco when Braylon was nine months old. We didn't date right away, but after talking on and off for a few years, Marco became like a father to my son. We supported each other through some really tough times. But no matter how bad it got, we always kept our faith strong and found a way to keep pushing forward. Even when people made fun of us for creating content in our tiny little apartment, we believed in ourselves and each other enough to keep with it regardless of the negativity thrown our way. So you see, now that we're doing better, the negativity just seems worse than ever. So let's address the elephant in the room. There are rumors that we don't own our house. Well, I'm not going to lie, that's true. We don't own our house, but let me explain why. After months of searching for our dream home, we found one that we thought would be the best. And we put down a deposit on the home that was all of our money. It was everything that we had but we thought that it would be worth it to get this beautiful home for our family. It turns out that this home is a disaster. It has so many problems that I won't get into, but because of all the problems, the bank won't approve our loan 
and the owner won't give us back our deposit. So basically we've lost our life savings and have no place to live. But here's the good news. Despite all of our struggles, our family is so strong and we're so determined to get back on our feet no matter what it takes. I know a few of you out there take great pleasure in seeing our family struggle, but I'm here to tell you that that's fine. We won't let your criticism affect us because right now, Marco and I, we just need to take care of our family. That's all we've ever wanted to do. That's always been the goal. And that isn't changing anytime soon. And for the rest of you, I thank you so much for your support and love during this difficult time. I promise you the Beverly Halls aren't going anywhere. So I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks. Brooke nervously posts her video, unsure with what will happen next. She's nervous how people will respond. But to her surprise, people love her heartfelt video and come out in droves to support her and her family. As a result, they gain even more followers, get approached by more brands, and even have celebrities reaching out to them. They become more successful than they'd ever been before. Because of their community's love and support, what happens next is the most shocking of all. Wow, how can you get over that view? It's stunning. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's so wow. beautiful. Oh, oh, thank you so much. If you can just put that downstairs, that would be great. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Who would have known just a few months later, we'd be moving into our real dream home. Makes you forget about the old one, right? Mm, no, honestly, I don't want to forget about that one. I feel like it taught us so much about what's actually important in life. <laughs> hey guys. What do you guys think? This is so nice. Mom, there's a giant pool downstairs. We're definitely going in. All right, have fun. Have fun, guys. <laughs> not, not. Oh, hi, Lydia. What's up, Linda? Hi, Donna. Hey. Oh. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. It is so good to see you guys again. We're so happy you bought this beautiful home on the hill. It was such a shame to see this big place go empty for so long. But who can afford it? A power couple with over 15 million followers each, that's who. Thank you, <laughs> thank, thank you so much.